Not having it with the week's news, gaming news, game caviar, game news with a new format. We got a lot of news to go over, so let's roll the intro and we'll get right into it. Game, game, game caviar. 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 Uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, the DLC that was scheduled to be released uh, soon, has been pushed back to later in July. Uh, as far as I know, there, have, there hasn't been a specific date, but keep an eye out for that for all of you Ghost Recon fans who have been looking for the DLC. It's coming, but it's been, it's been pushed back until late July. Uh, it just says later in July. Let's see here. Uh, EA is so happy with the Battlefield Premium service that they are thinking about expanding it to other franchises. Now, you got to think here, EA covers a lot of games. FIFA, NFL, Battlefield, uh, what is it, Medal of Honor, things like that. So, you could end up seeing a Madden Premium, a FIFA Premium. Uh, there was a good article online and it's been reported a, a couple places. So, it, it's really, uh, I don't know what 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 they're trying to get out of that. If it's cost effective, then it's going to be very good. But I can't see myself paying for every premium service of every game that EA comes out with. I already have uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield. Uh, I don't really think that a Madden premium would be beneficial to that audience as a whole. And uh, I don't see a Medal of Honor Premium actually helping out. So we'll see how that goes when it happens. Here's some big news. Metal Gear Solid 5 will be a PS4 exclusive. Now, PS4 is a tentative name for the next uh, gaming system that Sony will release. It's not uh, set in stone that it's going to be called PS4. A lot of people have um, <clears throat> excuse me, called it Orbis. But I'm sure they'll come up with a pretty cool name for it. And I was thinking that maybe Metal Gear Solid 5, since it will be an exclusive, may be a launch game. Now that is huge. That is a really big uh, launch game for a system of that caliber. And it's already going to be amazing. You already know that. And for it to be an exclusive, which means that it's just going to be, it's going to be on another level than if it would, if it was a a multi-platform game. I think that Sony is going to have the strongest out of the three consoles. It might not be as much of as, as as strong. It might not be stronger than Xbox 360 is, as, as uh, PS3 is to Xbox 360, but I do think that it's going to be stronger, and having games like that, especially if it's a launch title game, is really good. Moving on. Radical Entertainment, the company that made Prototype 1 and 2, it's gone. They have closed. Uh, I guess prototype didn't sell as well as they thought it would, and they had to close their business. It has happened a lot, especially within this year, and a lot of companies have closed their doors because the games aren't selling. And uh, it's, it's some. It's kind of sometimes it's because games aren't selling, but in the uh, in, in the case of the company that made L.A. Noir. There was a lot of other things that factored into the closing of that company, but the fact of the matter is, look, if a company makes a game and it doesn't sell, that company is more than likely to get closed. I I, I don't remember a time where uh, companies like this just go out of business as rapidly as they have. So this is pretty big news. I like Prototype. Everybody knows that, but I'm sad to see them go, but... They did release two very good games before they left. And I'm sure they worked on some other games too, but I know they're known for prototype. Uh, let's see what we have. Some Wii U news today. Uh, Nintendo announced that the Wii U service, the online service, will be free. On par with Sony's PSN um, and the Xbox Silver service. Uh, more like Sony's PSN. It will be free. They won't charge anything for you to um, enjoy their online features for the Wii U. A console that has really been, it's taken a lot of shots and has really been under fire from a lot of developers saying that it's not going to be up to par with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720. But we will see, won't we? Yes, we will. Uh, next, uh... Battlefield Premium has over 800,000 
users, subscribers to Battlefield Premium in the first two weeks that it was out. That is amazing. That's almost a million people. The game has sold over 15 million copies, so that's pretty big. I use Battlefield Premium, and I love it. I love that service. It gives you so much more to use in that game, and I can't... I cannot wait to see what they're going to release for us next. And finally, PSN Summer Sale starts July 3rd, just in time for the holiday, the birthday of America. And you get games, uh, they had so many games, Killzone, there was, uh, I saw Jurassic Park's Icon, there was, what else did they have? They had, uh, um, it was just a lot of games. It was, it was a game that I just bought too. <sighs> what game is it? What game is it? Anyway. PSN sale, July 3rd. It's going to be huge. Sony has really reshaped their whole PSN online experience to provide a better customer service to its users. And these sales are just the, one of the things that they've done to improve their overall service. But anyway, that's the news for this week. I'll be back next week with more news. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio. Uh, I know this weekend I'm picking up a blue snowball microphone, so the sound is going to get a lot better. And I'm also going to be working, changing a few things around here so I can have a better looking presentation. But uh, like this video, share this video is more important. Uh, and comment on this video is the most important. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash game caviar. And you can uh, check me out on Twitter. Twitter.com slash not having it. I will see you guys next week. Be here. Or be square. No, I'm kidding. Uh, just, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.